happy Friday! Let's go to the FRA. I want to go talk to Claire about adoption. Something you don't know about me is that I have wanted to adopt since I was 15. And now that I work and live in Benin and we do nonprofit stuff here, I've known in my heart for about four years that this is where I want to adopt from. Absolutely. Because the culture and the wonderful people here and the problems with babies being abandoned and um, this is where I want to adopt from. So I'm going to go talk to Claire about what I need to do to start the ball rolling here in country. And it's already so hot here, it's 9 a.m. I don't have any pants on. There she is. Poor Opal, broken down. I couldn't even start her right in front of the own, my own house last night. So she had to sleep outside. I feel so bad for her. She couldn't sleep in her cubby here. Look, her cubby's empty. We're here. We're here, we're here, we're here. I just love it here. I love our partners here. They're great. So I'm a little early for our meeting, but I'm sitting out here in the courtyard in the playground for the children. And that is the table I first met Claire at. We sat and had a meeting a year, a little over a year ago. Here we are now, building a bridge in Gambier. She's amazing. This foundation's amazing. I just love them here so much. No, I did not age overnight. We are doing costume swaps for <laughs> Christmas. So I can dress as Mama Christmas. There we go. What do you think? <laughs> We're going through all the Christmas stuff, Jolie, huh? Oh, look at all this Christmas stuff we're going through. It's costume time. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, c'est très joli. C'est ça que je veux. Yeah. Tu vois? This is the Papa Noel mask that they get to wear. I guess he's a, he's white here even. It's creepy. I think this is the wig. This is the one. Oh, the red is good for me. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. This is as close to cornrows as I'm going to get here, I think. Look at. Oh, yeah. This is it. There will be an answer. Let it be. And when, oh no, I can't. Oops. And when the night is cloudy, there is still light that shines on me. Shine until tomorrow. Let it be. 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 Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. Let it be, let it be, let no, it be. No, 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 come on, let it be, come on. Let it be, words of wisdom, let it be. The Foundation Regard de Amour does Christmas. Sometimes they'll put out a Christmas CD with the children on it, singing. This particular year, they had someone look at number 18. Nasty Jen and Beta, sounds like a DJ. This is some of the music from the Christmas CD. Apparently every year they play this video on the television and everybody can watch it in Benin and the children love this video every Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna go for a run, but I'm not gonna take you with me because I sweat so much here and it's gonna get so gross all up in this area right here. I'm gonna torture myself because it's about 100 degrees outside, but 
I need to work out. Like I've been looking at myself on camera. It is not a pretty thing. I should be losing weight here, not staying the same. So I'm gonna go for a run, but you guys are gonna stay here. So take some time, relax, kick back, have a beer. I'm gonna go exercise. <laughs> Yeah, this is me after. It's good. The mechanic is here. It won't turn over. If this car starts for him and not for me, that would be very grob. Oh, see, that's what it did. <laughs> I don't know what bougie. What is it in English? Bougie in English means like she she. We say, oh, you're so bougie. No, bougie. Uh, Canada, that's funny. Canada is bougie, but for the car, I don't know what kind of bougie that is. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's Something wrong with bougie. Okay. Going to cost us twenty five thousand safer. Wowie wow wow. That's fifty dollars five zero. The fuel filter, oil filter, oil change, and the bougie. She's gonna get a bougie augmentation. <laughs> well, because we are stuck here at the house, we can't go anywhere because Opal's gone. She'll be back tomorrow though, folks. Don't worry about it. I'm having Enoch and Berger over again. I just love those guys, they're my favorite. I'm gonna make lasagna because I found lasagna noodles actually in Cotonou. I don't know if I explained, food making here is different. Like if you need to go buy cheese, let's say, you have to go to a special store for cheese. If you need to go buy meat, you have to go to a special, not like a, not like a butcher, but a store that will actually carry meat. Your vegetables, most are bought on the street. Eggs, you have to find someone who find, sells eggs on the street. So finding things is complicated. You have to go to many different places to make one meal. So I found all the stuff for lasagna. So I'm gonna make them lasagna and Enoch has no idea what lasagna even is. So for tonight, I actually made a pot of B-sap. You guys remember B-sap? It's basically hibiscus flowers. See all those? Woo! The steam up. It's so hot in here, I have that effect on you, hey. Whoa, look at these lasagna noodles. They're like pieces of flat paper. Look how cute these are. I'm gonna add a little more cheese on the top and then I have to wrestle my double oven. You guys remember, remember my double oven. I never use it because I'm afraid of it. But I have to use it for lasagna to at least melt the cheese. Kind of sucks. I'm not looking forward to it. Pretty much procrastinating. <laughs> wow, I think those are done. <laughs> oh, every time I use this oven, something new melts. You see that gray thing hanging down right here? Totally cracking and melting. You've already seen the handles once before. This oven is so special and I'm a little afraid of it. Can you guys tell how pretty the sunset is tonight from the balcony? It's all pink and purple, it's really pretty. This time of the night is gorgeous and really peaceful. <laughs> what did you think of the lasagna? I think it was good. Yeah? Yeah. If I made it again, would you eat it again? Of course. You would? Yeah. Okay, what about you? Oh, two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> if somebody wanted to get marijuana, can you buy it here? You can you buy me. Yep. You can buy it. You can buy it. But people, I mean, I know some young people. They, they used to take it. They take it. Is it easy to get? It's not yeah. a you have to be. I mean, 
in the circle. The system yeah, before circle. getting it, but I'm sure it's not it's not that difficult to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's not even when I'm high like Khalifa. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're high like Khalifa. Yeah, you know, it's, it's very crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like. Bob Marley has come back <laughs> that day to visit Benin, especially at the University of Abumekar. So people grow it here, right? Of course. It's so is there a problem with drug? Is there a problem with if, it here? If, if the police find them, mm -hmm. they, oh, catch yeah. them. they catch them. And they put them in jail? Yeah. Yeah. For how long? Do you know how long you go to jail for? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, hey. When in system, when you get into jail, pray God that you know someone that they can take you out of there. <laughs> 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 it's fun now. You can take a big cargo of drugs, medicines. You think that this inside is drug medicines that people are going to take. So yeah. it's coming in like to, like paracetamol or something, for mm -hmm. example, like a Tylenol, mm -hmm. but it really is cocaine. Yes. And you think it's probably from Nigeria? Well, Nigeria is there. I don't know how it's worked in Ghana, but the, the main cause is Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs>